Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. A quick recap of all the basic sentence structures that we have seen so far. First one is affirmative sentence, how to um, form basic sentences in Japanese. The second one was interrogative, how to ask questions in Japanese. And then the third one was how to um, form a negative sentence in Japanese. So today will be the fourth. We're going to see how to convey something in past tense. As far as Japanese is concerned, you have two tenses, it's past and non-past. And so your present and future will be non-past, there's no future tense. Um, there are um, ways to convey probability, um, like you think something's going to happen. Um, that is possible, that is there, but nothing as explicit as um, future tense. We've seen sentences ending with des, aru and iru, so arimas and imas, respectively. Aru and iru are to denote existence, meaning there are, there is, and this, you know, it's like a connector that connects your subject and predicate and has plenty of other um, uses as well. All of these have been covered so far. In case if you missed any of these, um, please um, check out the JLPT N5 grammar playlist. So all of this is in that. And please do subscribe so you don't miss out on any content. So now to express something in past tense, the this will become this ta. So you draw the su and add this ta. So we've seen the examples. I'm trying to reuse the same examples. I've seen Gak say this. So now if you want to say I was a student, then you will say Gakse deshita. Gakse des it would be I am a student. Gakse deshita will be I was a student. The next example. So no toki wa shiawaze deshita. So no toki those days shiawaze is an objective which means Mm, happiness so I was happy those days and the same thing you can change it um, to a question as well by just adding suffix ka genki deshita ka genki deshita ka are you doing good and so now the same we we'll try to see how Aru and iru can be used in past tense. So aru, we have been using the polite form arimas, and for iru, we have been using imas. So now that for past tense will become arimashita, and imas will become imashita. So arimas becomes arimashita, imashita. Some examples. Kyo wa uki na jishin ga arimashita. So sometime um, today, maybe a few hours before, there was Ukina, a very massive jishin is earthquake ga arimashita. There happened to be a large scale earthquake sometime back. Machi ni jinja ga arimashita. So in this town, machi is town, machi ni. Jinja, we all you know it's a shrine. Gari Mashta, there was a shrine in this town before. Okane ga arimashita. Okane ga arimashita. I had money before. That's what it means. Okane ga arimashita ka. Okane ga arimashita ka. Like in for this, a context would be if say someone lost their wallet, so you're asking them, O kane ga arimashita ka? Did you have some money in it? For e adjectives, inu ga I had a dog before, but the dog's not there anymore. Inu ga ima, inu ga I had a dog before. Inu ga imashita. Amerika ni imashita ka? America ni imashita ka? Were you in America before? America ni imashita ka? So now, we're gonna combine 
what we just saw in the past tense with what we've already seen negative sense like i said before at the start of the video all of this has been covered and you can find it in the jlpt and five grammar playlist so we will be now we're going to just add both of this together so what's the past tense for this that we saw right now this and the negative sense for this was devarimasen so when you want to convey something in the past tense and negative, you use deva arimasen deshita. For ar, it will be arimasen. The negative plus past tense will be deshita here in this pattern. So arimasen deshita. Similarly, you will first add the negative part for imas, which will be imase. So, imase deshita. Devarimase deshita. Arimase deshita. Imase deshita. Some examples. Gakse deva arimase deshita. So, I was never a student. We have seen gakse des, I'm a student. Gakse de varimasen, I'm not a student. Gakse deshta, which means I was a student, and now you're saying you've never been a student. So, gakse de varimasen deshta. O kane ga arimasen deshta, I've never had any money. Inu ga imasen deshta, or maybe this person wanted a pet, but they never got to have a pet. So, inu ga imasen deshta, I've never had a dog. So that's all the sentence patterns for basic sentences. Um, of course, we still have the probability, which we will um, do it in the future. And to be noted, guys, all of this have been in polite tense. Where the next video is going to be, I'll cover all the four at once when you want to use a casual tone let's say you want to convey all of this to a friend then how do we do it so that will be the next video so stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to my channel